Hi everyone, I just wanted to share with you today a quick tip while I'm crafting and getting ready for some uh, really exciting videos coming up over on Craft World today. Um, I needed to glue down a really small detailed die cut. Uh, this is you know this is quite bold actually but I've got much smaller ones as well that I need to adhere sometimes and sometimes the nozzle on any glue is just too wide and it gets everywhere so um, I decided to remake a concept that I made quite a few years ago and I used it lots and lots and when I'd finally used it all up I never remade it and I'm going to do it now so I thought I'd film while I'm doing it just so you can see how I apply glue to small die cuts like this without getting lots of mess. So what you need to make sure that this is going to last is an airtight container. And do you know what? The ones that you usually get when you get a takeaway and they send you lots and lots of these clear containers, they will work just fine as long as the liquid stays in. Um, a kitchen sponge, really inexpensive one as well. Doesn't have to be expensive. Now I have uh, just dampened this just to make sure it's expanded as much as it's going to when it's wet and pop that into the base there. Now I'm going to trim this to size just a little bit so that it doesn't pop out. And it doesn't have to fill the base, it just needs to be secure in there. And then your favourite glue, so whatever your wet glue is. I'm going to use the Kalau glue, um, you could use a white PVA glue if you wanted. Either way, it's entirely up to you. So I'm just going to spread lots of the glue. I mean, I'm going to use most of this bottle because I'm going to be using this lots and lots and lots. And I have, I have a lot of these bottles in here. So a really nice thick covering all over that sponge. Now the next stage is to take um, something like a, a spreading tool of some description. So I'm going to use um, this, this is for sort of texture paste in stencils, things like that. And I'm just going to press the glue into the sponge and keep pressing down, working my way round until the sponge has absorbed lots of the glue there. And like I say, this will work with many wet glues. It doesn't have to be this particular brand at all. In fact, um, if you like to use different glues, it's worth having a few of these pots laying around and they don't have to be as big as this either. It can be um, quite small. So I'm just going to work this in, just pressing it into all the um, pockets of the sponge there so that when I press my die cut on, I'm just going to be getting a very small amount of it and as I start using the top layer of glue I can then just start pressing down harder with my die cuts as time goes on to get more and more glue out. So now I've got a sponge saturated with glue there, it's been pushed into the sponge so I'm going to take this and going to clean that up in just a moment but now as you can see I can just press my die cut into there and if you want to use tweezers or something like that something like a pokey tool you can do so you don't get mucky fingers and then I've got a coating of glue all over the reverse there of my die cut and I haven't had to go along with all of those stringy pieces and that will now stick to my project.